Okay, hi everybody. We are. I'm going to run through this method to draw the diagrams that you need to do to show where an image will form and how large an image will be when you um, get a ray diagram using a lens. So this central line represents the lens and you can see that you've got f which is the focal length of the lens and 2f which is the same distance again. Uh, when we draw one of these diagrams what we want to be showing is how big and where the image forms. So the object I'm going to draw here and you can see that this is on squared paper so in the exam this will be to scale. So this arrow represents the object and the image that forms in this lens will be somewhere and we're showing using lines where that image is going to be. So I'm going to draw some lines that you follow the method. So from the top of the object we're going to draw a line we're going to draw a line that goes diagonally through the centre of the lens. So this is like common line for all lenses from the top of the object diagonally through the centre. It's quite tricky to draw these um, on the board so I'm, I'm doing my best here. And the second line you're going to draw is from the top of the object to the lens. We've read the question and I'm going to be doing drawings that represent the uh, diagrams that you're going to get for a converging lens. So this lens brings things to a point and that means that the line that goes through the lens will go through the focal point F of this lens. So my second line here, I'm going to continue this line and it's going to go diagonally through F. I'm going to extend it down here. Okay, whoops. Now, where those points meet, where those lines meet, is going to be where the image forms. Let's just make this right. Okay, so you can see that I've drawn my two sets of lines here, one diagonally through the center and which I mean here and one to the lens and through the focal point. Now where these two lines cross is going to be where the image forms. So if I look at where the lines cross I can draw an arrow to show where the image forms here. Okay. Now because this is on squared paper to scale I can now say a number of things about the image. So this arrow represents the image and you can see that the image is upside down so we say that it is inverted. We can see that the image is forming on the opposite side of the lens to the object. Okay, and in other words, rays of light pass through where the image is forming. And we define that as real. Okay, a real image means that rays of light have gone through where the image forms. It means that the image can be projected onto a screen. And you can also see from the length of the arrow that the arrow is larger and so this image is magnified. So when we are describing an image formed by a lens, there are three terms. Is it inverted or the right way up? In other words, upright. Is it real? And the opposite of real is virtual. So, for example, the image in a mirror is virtual because no rays of light 
travel behind the mirror where the image forms. And finally, a comment on size. Is it magnified? And the opposite word for magnified is diminished. And where the image forms and what features it has depend on where the object is placed relative to the lens and the focal point.